guys, how's it going? So today I wanna to talk about garden carts. Now I have a ridiculous amount of carts sitting out here on our lawn. It looks like I'm getting ready to open up a retail store, but I'm not. We actually partnered with Gorilla Carts to do this video and I get to give away four to you guys, which is super exciting. Uh, we'll give more details on the giveaway later on in this video. And then obviously I don't need all of these carts personally in my own garden. Um, so I get to give away a few of these locally here to friends and family, which is also exciting. So I've been using Gorilla Carts for quite a long time. This one right here um, is one of the older models and I've been using that a lot as well as this one here. We showed it in a video early last spring I think it was and it's seen some really heavy use. We use it all the time. Um, in fact I had to clean out a bunch of stuff out of here so that I could bring it out and show it to you guys. Um, I just thought it might be helpful to go through a bunch of features and just show you some of the stuff that's available because sometimes we just don't know what's out there and I think that there's a cart for everyone and a cart that will make your job easier and we get that question all the time like what my favorite tools are, what I find um, really helpful. So I'll talk about which ones I use a lot in the garden and which ones um, I find very very helpful. Um, so let's start with the new poly dump carts. Now these aren't all the poly dump carts they have. Um, these two right here are their newer models, the ones with the yellow handles. And then this is an older model, which is still available. You can still buy it and there are a few others as well. Um, they don't have specific names. They're all poly dump carts, uh, but they have model numbers. So I'm gonna try to remember them. We will put them on the screen for you, but I believe this is a GCG-7. GCG-4. So this one holds four cubic feet. This one's seven cubic feet. This one has a load capacity of 1200 pounds. This one has a load capacity of 600 pounds. Um, and then this one here is GCG-10-16, I think. And this one can hold, I believe, like 1500 pounds, which that's pretty intense. Um, so I want to show you a couple of uh, features that have changed like from the older models to the new. So the handle for this one is here. It's a little less conspicuous than the new handles which are larger and brighter color but you just pull and you can dump out whatever's in your cart and this one goes 90 degrees or slightly less than 90 degrees. The new ones go further than 90 degrees. Let me show you. So we just pull the handle and you can push it like that. So you don't need to have a broom or a rake or feel like you have to shake the cart to get everything out, which I think is really handy. Now these two larger carts, you can hook up to a lawn tractor or an ATV. In fact, I brought our lawn tractor out to show you. Um, that way you don't have to physically pull. Like if I put 1500 pounds in here, I could not physically pull that myself. I would need to hook it up to something to help me do that. Um, so the difference, I think that this is a really nice improvement. In the old one, um, you pull out two pens and then you flip the handle. Let me show you. Let's see how seamless I can make this. You flip the handle like that, whoops, like that. You put this pin back in. And then you would take this over to your lawn tractor and then hook it up like that with this pin. Um, so the handle, you know, you don't have to take the handle all the way off, but you are dealing with pins. So the improvement, which I think is very nice, is there's just one pin. So you take this out and then the handle just slides down like that, just out of the way. And then let's just hook this up, check it out. Just like that. And that way you can pull it without having to pull it yourself with your own physical strength. Um, also, the fact that these are poly means that they won't rust um, or dent or any of that kind of business. So with the four cubic foot model, you can't hook it up to your ATV or your lawn tractor, but typically with carts this size, we're not putting in huge, heavy loads. I mean, we might put garden debris up to about here to where we need straps to strap it down. I'm always pushing it that way. Uh, but these are really easy to pull around too. Like with this one, I actually hardly ever hook these up. I like that I can if I need to, like if I'm hauling bricks or stones or something like that, but they have such huge tires that it makes it very easy to um, pull across. Like we have a lot of gravel and some places it's pretty deep. Um, I'm taking it through flower beds and grass and stuff like that with loads of things and it's pretty easy to do. So I'm hoping that seeing the size comparison will kind of help guide you as to what size you might need. Because if you are on a small city size lot, I doubt you're gonna need to have a cart this size. Um, you know, something like this is probably sufficient. I know in our last townhouse size garden, this would have been perfect for me. But now I'm doing a little bit bigger things and this one has been really handy. 
Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the steel carts. So both of these steel carts actually do come with sides that are removable. Um, so you can see, I wanted to have one of each kind of sitting out here. The sides for this one are actually sitting in our barn right now. Um, I use this a lot to haul around flats of plants, so I find it really handy that I can take the sides off. Um, to remove the sides, it's super easy. There's this little lever right here that you just, you know, lift up just like that. And you do that on all four corners and then the sides just lift right out and you can stack them somewhere, use the cart how you need to, and then put the sides back on. And I find that handy because like with this, I can put my shovel in here and it holds it on with, you know, doesn't jostle off when I'm walking away. Um, I can also put garden debris in this kind of like a poly cart um, because it holds it in. But then if I need to haul flats of plants that don't really fit super well, like I wanna fit as many as I can on each cart, then I can take the sides off and they fit a little bit better. Um, this is an older model. This is the newer model right here. Um, you can see that both of them, you can also hook up to your trailer. This one has the two pin system, older model, and this one, one pin system. Um, they do, both do have zero turn. What is it called? Zero turn, turn on a dime. <laughs> They're really easy to maneuver around in tight spaces, which is really nice. Um, as well as the three poly carts too. I didn't talk about that, um, but they've got nice big tires and they're easy to pull around. So again, this one I believe is called a GOR-2345. It's a six cubic foot capacity. And this one we're gonna have to put on the screen because I cannot remember the model number, but obviously this is a smaller version of this one. Um, again, you know, you may need a bigger one if you've got bigger projects going on. Small one might be great if you've got a small yard. So all three of these are brand new. They're called the Evolution Carts. They're basically your wheelbarrow style cart. Um, for those of you who like that style better than the pull behind. I know there's a lot of you who like that. It's kind of traditional. Um, these do have the poly hopper though, so they won't rust. All of them are seven cubic foot capacity, um, 600 pound load capacity, uh, but they all have differences in handle and tire and you can mix and match. So the model number on this one is GCR-7 and you can see here the handles are kind of like this enclosed type handle. This one also has a 13 inch no flat tire, so there's no air in that tire. This one right here is the GCR-7X. You can see it has the straight bar style handle and it has a 13 inch pneumatic tire, which is an air filled tire. And then this one right here is the GCR-7S. And actually I've tried out all three of these, like I've kind of wheeled them around the yard. I like this handle the best. I don't know, like maybe if I got 600 pounds on each of them, I would feel a little bit different, but this feels pretty comfortable to me. And it's kind of nice that you have the different options. And this one has a 12 inch no flat tire. Um, the other thing that I think is pretty cool about these is that you can get replacement parts. I love that. Like when I can get pruners and stuff that have replacement parts or a wheelbarrow like this that you can order a handle. Like if you somehow mess up a handle or somehow you need a, like you've punctured your tire too many times and you just need a replacement, you can get those things very inexpensively. All right, so this is the last cart I wanted to show you. This is a folding soft-sided cart, clearly the smallest option um, we have here, which I think is great for small gardens, for deadheading, just doing some general puttering around the garden. They sent out two of these. I set one up so you could see it right away, and then I left one in a box because I wanted to show you how easy it is um, to put together. But real quick, it does have a couple of pockets right up front so you can slip your gloves and your pruners in there. And there is one pocket here, whoops, there goes my cutter, on the back. So uh, let me grab this one out of the box and we'll take a look. So like I said, it is a folding cart, so it makes it easy to store. Um, but let's put it together here. Okay, so first you take this clamp off and just push the bottom down. And then you can see this bar right here held in by the fabric loop. You just take that out, flip the top up, and then there's a little spot right in the front here. I don't know if you can see that in there. See that little hole right there? You put the bar in that and then you just clamp it to the front bar. <laughs> I don't know the technical terms for all of this, um, but you can see how easy it is. And then the handle here, there's just a little button that you can push and that's it. All done. That's all there is to it. And this is Benjamin's new favorite toy. The second Aaron got this out and set it up, Benjamin wanted inside and he rode around in this for a really long time. In fact, we have to hide it. Otherwise we'll be doing that for hours. <laughs> 
So like I said, I think there's a garden cart for every situation, every size garden, every gardener. I mean, we all have very strong opinions as to what we like and don't like to use in our own gardens. I mean, from this little cart right here, it's really lightweight for really small garden chores and for pulling your baby boy around, all the way up to this big cart. I mean, we've stacked this thing, loaded it down with bricks and moved it around our property with very little effort. So it just depends on what you want to accomplish out in your garden, what size of garden, you know, and what you want to use it for. Um, so anyway, I hope it was helpful seeing all the features and seeing all the sizes. Um, and of course, there are more on the Gorilla Carts website. We will link all of these down below if you want to learn more about them. Um, but the giveaway, it's super easy to enter. All you have to do is go to Instagram, find Gorilla Carts, like their page there, and then in the gallery, find the picture relating to this video and then like that picture and then comment which model number of cart you would like to win. So there's three things, like them on Instagram, find the post, like it, and then comment on that post with the model number. And again, we'll put the model number down below in the description of each one of these carts so that just in case you need a quick reference, uh, it's hard to remember all of those numbers. So anyway, super easy to enter. Um, one other thing I wanted to say was when you go to the Gorilla Carts website, I don't think they sell directly from their website, but you can you know, click on any one of these carts you might be interested in and it will show you where you can purchase one. So uh, anyway, I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and good luck to you on the giveaway. See you in the next one, bye.